Well, everyone, Mac OS Ventura just officially came out and I did actually go ahead and install it on my oldest MacBook Air that, that's still supported, which is the 2018 MacBook Air. Now, this is what's very strange. Just with the last version of Mac OS, the Mac OS Monterey, that was still supported on the 2015 MacBook Air. And I feel like they could have probably still supported it on the MacBook Pro side. We have the 2017 MacBook Pro that's supported. I'm also about to install Mac OS Ventura on it as well. But with this MacBook Air, this one, the 20 18 model this was that refresh with the retina display so it makes a little bit sense why you know apple decided to go down this route so if you have a macbook air that's older than this 2018 one you are not going to be supported on this version of software but i'm still going to tell you mac os monterey even mac os big sur is still extremely relevant and i will say those you know versions of software are still going to be getting security updates for a while and you're really not going to be having an outdated machine at that point either now installing this update i think it was a about either it was like 11 gigabytes or was it less than that i honestly don't remember i did take a screenshot of it i'll post it on the screen but it was a pretty big sized update it took about an hour full for it to install from point a to point b basically the same time it took to install on my imac as well so it was pretty much the exact same time really didn't take you know much longer than i expected it to and luckily for us the fans didn't i don't think this thing has fans but it didn't overheat like crazy it didn't boot loop on me i didn't have to factory reset it there was no issues like that whatsoever Whatsoever. So that really made me confident with this specific update. Now, no matter what I say in this video, do not install this version of software on your Mac yet. I would probably even recommend not installing it when it first comes out officially because there's still going to be so many bugs. I personally had so many issues on all of my Macs, even my M1 MacBook Pro when I installed Mac OS Monterey on it. And in this case, I'd probably recommend sticking with Mac OS Monterey on your 2018 MacBook Air. Now, physically, Obviously, the MacBook still holds up. It still has the same exact design as the M1 MacBook Air. But with the software now and internally, because this thing has that Intel chipset inside of it, Apple decided this time around to really make some big differences from these Intel Macs and these M series of MacBooks. So with this MacBook Air, with its Intel chipset, even though it's, you know, the design is pretty much the same, internally, there are some pretty big differences. And I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last version of software supported on this 28. MacBook, and I feel like Apple is really going to be focusing in on their M chipset devices and expanding the software on them. Now, some of the features we aren't getting on this MacBook Air are live captions, reference mode with sidecar, emoji support in dictation mode, and those are the things that we don't have right now. There's probably going to be some other things in the future, which really doesn't make too much sense to me, but there are some really cool improvements within macOS Ventura. We have the continuity camera. We can actually utilize our iPhone as a you know webcam of some sorts, which I think is actually really cool. We have the center stage capability if your Mac supports it with this iPhone. Apparently we have some game improvements and some you know feature improvements in that sense, which seems really, really cool. SharePlay has some improvements. Within iMessage, we have the ability of unsending iMessages, unreading iMessages, and even editing sent iMessages within a 15 minute window, which is really cool. We can also lock hidden photos and, you know, our albums within our photos application now, which is actually really cool. We can password, you know, lock them. And there are so many other updates and improvements within this, you know, specific macOS beta as well. I will say though, after messing around with it for a little bit of time, I'm kind of surprised how stable this specific version of software is. Now, like I said, it's really only been like 16 hours since I installed it. So it hasn't even been a full day. So I can't necessarily tell you right now, hey, this thing is perfectly good. Like I said, I've installed many betas in my day for iOS, iPadOS, Android, macOS, all sorts of stuff. And it's never a good idea to put it on any of your personal machines. If you have a side MacBook Air that you want to mess with it, then go for it. I'm like I said, I'm kind of surprised how decent it's performing. You know, I had this thing on macOS Monterey as well, and it really wasn't that bad of an experience there either. And now I'm kind of getting the same vibe. I'm curious to see what the next couple of betas will be bringing with this version of software though, but if I were you, I would highly recommend avoiding installing this thing on your MacBook Air, whether you have this one or you have the M1 MacBook Air. If you're getting the M2 MacBook Air, I think it may come with it pre-installed depending on when you're buying it. As of right now, it's probably going to be on macOS Monterey, but in the future, it could probably you know come pre-installed with macOS Ventura. So in this case, what I'll tell you is it's looking promising. For the few features that we're getting, especially on these Intel MacBook Airs, I think this is going to be a pretty good update. I feel like a lot of people will be updating for two main reasons. One, the iMessage, you know, being able to unsend, unread, all that stuff. But two, probably because of the accelerated gaming mode. It may only be an M1, you know, specific Mac type of feature, but if it does get ported over to these Intel Macs, I think that's going to be awesome as well. So, like I said, please do not install this on your MacBook Air. 
but that's kind of a quick synopsis of how it's been kind of running for a little bit of time on my 2018 MacBook Air. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.